Hola, my name is Tiffany. In the fall of 2015, I spent four months studying in this wonderful country of Spain. Y ahora, me gustaría compartir con vosotros mis experiencias culturales aquí en España. All right, back to English, because that's about as much Spanish as I know. So ever since I was a little girl, it has been my dream to visit Spain. My dream came true since I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to study abroad in Spain during my third year of college. In August 2015, I bid farewell to my family and flew from Chicago O'Hare Airport all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to Aeropuerto de Madrid Barajas. It was about eight hours long. I have never been so nervous in my life. With only my two suitcases and my passport, I trembled as I walked into this whole new world of Europe, of Spain. When I arrived in Spain, my host family was the first to welcome me. And yes, with the Spanish double cheek kisses. They're an elderly couple who live in the apartment. This one you're looking at actually. Every night, my host mom would cook dinner for me, which allowed me to have a taste of true Spanish homemade meals. Cocido madrileño, tortilla española, sopa de fideos, croquetas, salmón, paella, guisantes, gazpacho, manchego, y más. Other than my host mom's cooking, I occasionally went out for some tapas and tinto de verano. I enjoy most of the Spanish cuisine, but the only thing I've yet to develop my liking for is the gazpacho drink, a cold drink made up of vegetables like tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions that's very popular in Andalusia. I'll keep working on it. Madrid is a vibrant city that has a unique combination of modern infrastructures and a legacy of centuries of culture and history. Just a few minutes walk from where I lived is the Templo de Debot, an ancient Egyptian temple donated by the Egyptian government to thank Spain for helping to save Abu Simbel an archaeological site along the Nile. The sunset was absolutely gorgeous. Taking the very convenient metro can get you to many places, such as the Parque de Retiro, a green oasis in the center of Madrid, which offers a place for culture, leisure, and sports. The metro can also take you to the city center of Sol, and the Palacio Real de Madrid. And finally, the famous art museums of El Prado, Reina Sofia, and Thyssen Bornemisza, which I spent both hours to enter during the free periods and hours inside, mesmerized by all the paintings I've only once seen in textbooks. One example is the famous Las Meninas by Velázquez. Right now, I feel as if I'm in the position of Velázquez in the painting, being a part of Spain, but not completely assimilated, secretly recording all my thoughts and observations and sharing them with you. Except Velázquez's painting received worldwide recognition with millions of people visiting it every year. And of course I can't forget to mention my school, La Universidad Pontificia Comillas, where I learned a great deal from business to Spanish language and culture from all my wonderful professors and met amazing friends who I traveled with for the four months I was here. This school is very different from the one I attend back home since classes and buildings are much smaller in size. Moving on to one of the most exciting experiences I had in Spain. One of my favorite was Toledo, the city of three cultures with a coexistence of Christians, Muslims, and Jews. I also got to try out the marzipan, a very sweet pastry made out of almond and sugar or honey. Another amazing experience was the San Mateo festival in Cuenca, where I was able to join the festive spirits of the local people and run with the bulls, not to mention dropping my phone and cracking the screen during the process. Another experience related to the bull is the famous bullfighting. It's a tradition that spawns controversy throughout the world so I debated long and hard whether to attend. I'm glad I did though, because it was an interesting experience which I learned to appreciate as a part of the Spanish culture. 
Since all the classes I took were in English, there was hardly a chance for me to interact with Spanish students. So I decided to join the Glee Club, a musical theater workshop on campus in which 90% of the students were Spanish. They are very nice and inclusive, and I made quite a few good friends. Every week, we share a common love for singing and for the universal language of music. Hanging out with them, I was able to learn about the subculture and also some useful Spanish phrases. And with that, I conclude my brief overview of my cultural experience in Spain. Thanks for watching all of that and following my journey in Spain. When I go back home, I'll really miss all of you and miss all of Spain. But bye for now. Hasta luego.